So power comes from, you asked about power, right? How do you get more power? And we're talking like five miles an hour from this, two miles, you know, eventually you're hitting it 10, 20% harder. So power comes from rotating around. If you're moving forward, you're not rotating around. Like once you start this and then go like that, then it stops, it mostly stops. It's no longer perfectly efficient, you know, like that's where it really comes from. You just want to, so I have this drill. I don't know if I should show you. The feet together. Ever show you that one? Okay. So this is uh, just a drill. It's not how you always want to do it, obviously. But to really see the benefit of this as opposed to that, just like this. And I saw that I'm hitting it just as hard as when I do it like this, but also more, like, more accurately than when I was going like this, back and forth, and like throwing my body into it. I was going like, you know, it's all over the place, comparatively. So when your feet are apart, um, it's just for stability. It's not so you can move more. You want to be just like this, but with your feet apart for more balance. So if you do this, it'll make you, like you know how you saw in the video, you were going like that, right? If you, uh, if you have your feet together and you move even a little bit, you're gonna go like that. And you don't want to, you wanna be. So then I even like, to really prove it to yourself, you can just go like this. And you'll see that the same power, because you're still doing only this, and you'll be more accurate because you're not moving. And off your back foot isn't bad, as you saw yesterday, right? And you can do it like this. And same on the back end. So the more still, so whenever I'm running for a ball, I'm always striving to be super still. Yeah.